Afternoon everybody, this is Jeff from Rose Bucket Valley Garage. Uh, ran into a little problem that uh, I thought you might be interested in. This right here is a right front fender for the Jeep, which is going to go right down here. Um, we've already replaced the, uh, the factory clips and we actually got the, uh, the fender today and the electrical and the little uh, marker light. Um, we got this piece here a couple of days ago. We had this inner liner here um, for a couple of weeks because uh, we knew we were going to take and use that because it was uh, missing from the collision. Um, they use uh, the little serrated fasteners here a couple of different places to take and, and put this thing together. Uh, to hold uh, the inner liner to the structural portion that goes inside the fender and then this piece right here is held in by these little uh, poly rivets okay and when you finish with them you know they're supposed to take and look like this okay you need a special tool for those okay because we have uh, one like this a regular rivet gun and we also have an automated one if we're going to be doing a whole bunch of them um, these little dies here are the ones that go inside here and they fit around um, on the shank uh, just like this and then you squeeze a handle and it draws this mandrel up and then it uh, breaks it inside there after the thing is crushed so we found out that this uh, mandrel will not fit in any of our uh, adapters. Okay, this this hole here is too small. Uh, also, you cannot take and you know our, our first thing was uh, okay. We'll we'll just run and get a tool. And well, it's uh, the tool place is quite a distance away from here, and we want to go right now. We want to take and finish this doggone thing here. Um, we could go get a tool, it's about 20 bucks, you know, it's a Harbor Freight item, not a, not a sponsor, but uh, they got a lot of good stuff for like one time use. Um, so you cannot take and drill this out because this is hardened steel, okay? So uh, we gave up for just a, just a moment and we were thinking about it. This is, uh, what can we do with this thing? Well, um, we determined what size this thread is here and it's, uh, 8 by 125 uh, it's metric of course um, so what we actually did is we chucked a bolt up on the lathe and we drilled a, uh, a 150 hole all the way through it which is more than enough to take and clear the shank on this and then we cut off a piece of it and we made our own little mandrel here that will screw up inside of this okay and marcy's helping today hello baby uh so let me show you how the um the riveting gun works with uh with this little mandrel in there okay so what we've done is we've installed the um the adapter into the um, riveting tool and we have one of the poly rivets that has been installed in there and here's a hole where it goes go ahead and uh, get that lined up and get that put in okay so what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to draw that up okay and what it's going to do is when it releases it's going to leave a little area here and you have to hold the bottom of the fastener and then uh, because otherwise it's going to blow out the bottom okay so we'll go ahead and do that okay pushed it up and there we go okay and the um, what you have to do is the um, since you're using an odd adapter in here uh, I just take a piece of welding rod and uh, run this uh, this tail through and it'll come out the top 
and uh, you'll be able to take and load up the next one and go ahead. So when you're right in the middle of a job and you need a special tool, uh, sometimes you can make it and it's it's really cool it gives you really a uh, sense of accomplishment when you can and uh, you can go around and say oh, I am so clever because I didn't have to go buy a tool <laughs> okay uh, that's what I have for you today I'll be coming out with an update for the G pretty soon we'll be getting a big load of parts tomorrow uh, tomorrow will be uh, Tuesday okay so thank you very much for uh, for tuning in hope i give you a little bit of good information please subscribe hit the notification button when you do you will be the first one to know when we do something new okay thanks for stopping by talk to you soon